uh, clinical picture and the investigations of ankle fracture as the general principles of fractures mentioned early in the orthopedic especially after trauma if there is hematoma peruses swelling edema in the ankle region with the most important to diagnose any fracture is deformity at the ankle region this short diagnosis of fracture and as we mentioned investigation billing x-ray will show the level of the fracture type of the fracture as this separation of tibia and the fibula fracture of the malleoli etc what is the treatment of ankle fracture according to the number of malleoli affected if there is only one malleolus fracture of one malleolus this is simple because it is a first degree and the malleolus which is fractured is not displaced therefore fracture of one malleolus without displacement no need for reduction only fixation by below me cast for six weeks but if there is two or three malleoli affected affection of two or three malleoli surgery surgery is the best treatment over reduction and the internal fixation should be done why to restore perfect anatomical reduction and by perfect anatomical normal position this achieve normal body weight distribution and the prevent osteoarthritis later on because any disturbance in body weight transmission at the ankle will lead to osteoarthritis and the stiffness of the ankle later on um, the surgery should be done as soon as possible within about six hours before development of edema because if edema developed we should avoid surgery and the treatment will be done six days after subside of edema therefore we have two options early surgery before development of edema within six hours of trauma if edema developed i can't do surgery and surgery is delayed for six days after subside of edema the fibular fracture is reduced first fixed first by plate and screw to restore the lens the normal anatomical lens of the leg and this is the reduction of fibular fracture first to restore the length of the leg by blade and the screws then the medial malleolus the medial malleolus is treated by what simply by this by screws if there is tibiofibular diastasis diastasis means separation this need protection screw to fix the tibia and the fibula together 
for at least six months called the protection screw to protect the tibiofibular joint until healing of its ligament. Um, rupture of uh, medial ligament or lateral collateral ligaments of the ankle usually mean this mean surgical repair of the ligament therefore fibular fracture first by blade and screw to restore the lens followed by a screw in the medial malleolus if there is affection of tibiofibular joint this need protection screw because it protect separation protect the tibia and the fibula from separation therefore it's called protection screw felt in left in place for about six weeks then removed um rupture ligament this mean surgical repair of the ligament what is uh, the complications of uh, ankle fracture? Mainly joint complication. Joint complication like what? Ankle is a famous site for sadex atrophy. If there is injury of the articular surface, this leads to roughness of the articular surface and osteoarthrosis. And uh, if there is male union disturbance in body weight transmission, this leads to severe osteoarthrosis and the stiffness of ankle joint. Um, male union and uh, delayed union and non-union may occur. Injury of surrounding vessels and nerves, anteriorly both the anterior tibial vessels and nerves posterior to the ankle joint, posterior tibial vessels and nerves. And they never forget around the ankle, both the long and short saphenous veins. There are many, many, many tendons passing in front on the medial aspect and the lateral aspect of the ankle. And this trauma affecting the bones of the ankle region may lead to injury of surrounding tendons and ligaments. This is uh, ankle fracture. Thank you for good listening and good luck.